Hello YouTube and welcome to another OpenSense tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install a Let's Encrypt certificate on your OpenSense firewall. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my previous video I showed you how to install actually OpenSense on Proxmox. So as you can see here, it's running as a virtual machine on Proxmox, okay? And I can access the web GUI through its LAN interface. So as you can see here, okay? But as you can see, we have here a problem. So this page is not secure because actually we are using a self-signed certificate generated by our firewall. So if I click on this now secure, and if I go to the certificate details, you can see that certificate is actually generated using uh, OpenSense firewall, so it's not a trusted certificate. So in order to resolve this problem, we will install Let's Encrypt certificate, okay? So first thing first, let me just log on to my uh, OpenSense firewall here. okay so in order to actually generate this let's encrypt certificate we need a valid domain name so we can actually get it from some free services like no ip or dns but first thing first we have to install a plugin that will allow us to generate this let's encrypt certificate so let's go to our system here firmware and plugins and the plugin that we need actually to generate this certificate is the acme client so as you can see here okay so let's try to install this plugin here for the acme clients here we go so you can see that is going to install a bunch of actually packages now we will wait for the process to finish. So now it's extracting and installing the packages. So finally everything is done. So now in order to work with this uh, plugin we have to refresh our page in order to have it actually displayed under services so let's refresh this page and now if I go to services hopefully I will get the let's encrypt plugin okay so here we go Acme client so I click on it so the first thing is of course to go to the settings so the first tab actually just an introduction to this uh, client here so let's go to the settings and of course you have to enable this plugin okay so I'll check that and I will apply okay so after that I can actually go to the account and add an account so I'll simply add just an email so you get notified whenever your services get renewed or if there is some problem, okay? So I can just add, for example, let's encrypt cert as name and I will here add my email. Okay, so I will save that and here we go and the next step is actually to add a certificate so I will go to certificates and I will try to create one so I will click on this plus button here here we go and here the most important step is the common name so here you have to add your domain name so for me, it is Aminos Ninatos, 
dot gndns dot net okay so you can add a description if you want or you can leave it as it is you can also add some alternative uh, fully qualified domain name if you want and the default are pretty good so you don't have to touch anything all you have to do is to click on this save button here okay actually the challenge type value is required okay so I didn't actually uh, select a challenge type so let's do that so I'll cancel that and I will go to the challenge type okay so let's add one and uh, for example for the name I can also use let's encrypt cert for the challenge type I will choose HTTP01 so I guess it's pretty good and for HTTP service I will leave the default which is OpenSense web service so let's save that so now I can return back to our certificate and create one so the only thing here is the domain name that I have to add here and for the challenge type it has already chosen the one that I have just created okay so let's validate that okay so you can see now that uh, our certificate is in pending status okay so let's return back to our settings and make sure that service is running by seeing this uh, play button here in green okay so now i can return back to our certificate and i can hit this issue or renew or certificate in order to get one okay So after a while you can see that I get the certificate so the last ACME status is okay the last ACME run is on this date here okay so everything is good now you can also take a look at the log file to see if you have any issues with generating the certificate okay so after that everything is running good so all I have to do is to change actually uh, for the web GUI from the self signed certificate to this let's encrypt certificate so for that you go to your system administration if my memory is good then settings then administration okay and there is SSL certificate so by default it's using its own self-generated one but for us we're gonna use this acme client which is let's encrypt certificate okay and let's save that so the web GUI is loading at the moment so we have to wait a little bit so let's go to another tab or just type our uh, actually uh, domain name here And et voila, as you can see, I don't get anymore the warning message of the self-signed certificate. So if I click on this icon here, you can see the connection is secure and I can view the certificate is valid, okay? And it's issued by Let's Encrypt, okay? So one last thing that I want to show you, maybe you will get some error messages when you log on using your domain name so for that you have to log on using your IP address and go to the settings and also uh, to the administration and you have actually to disable this DNS ribbon check okay and also for alternate host name you have to add here your domain name in order to get everything working okay so that was just a brief video to show you how to install the Let's Encrypt certificate on OPN Sense.
So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. And if you have any suggestion for future video, drop them in the comment below. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.